cause I am amazing I'm fresh, I'm flossy, I'm blessed, I'm glossy Can't hold a candle to me cause they can't handle me I'm living, I'm winning, not timid They giving me a standing ovation cause I am amazing Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Miss Naturally Mary here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how you can get a silk press that is for sure going to last. Y'all know in my previous video, I recently went to the salon and I got a silk press and a trim and my hair looked really good. I was so happy with the progress, but after three days, y'all already know what happened. My hair reverted so fast, but this is gonna be an option. And I pretty much feel like it's a consensus from my previous video where I asked you guys for ideas as to how to make my 4B, 4C natural hair stay in a soak press state. Many of you guys had no idea just like me. And you also stated that it was important for me not to sweat. But y'all, this is going to be a sweat proof method. Get you a wig. <laughs> the wig that I'm going to be showing you all today is from BGM Girl Hair. This particular brand is an affordable brand, which is what I love about it. The price point is actually less than I spent on my soak press. I can achieve the same look for less and I know it's gonna last. Now what I recommend when using a wig as an alternative to a silk press is that you get a length that's close to your actual length and also a density that's close or your desired density. Now what I'm doing right now is defining the part prior to actually installing the unit on my head and I'm going for a middle part and I'm using my Nairobi mousse in order to define that part but you're gonna see me do a little more to it as the video progresses. I do wanna also mention that there were some short hairs on this particular unit at the top. And I do notice that with more affordable brands that that typically happens, but I'm gonna show you guys how to tame those shorter hairs and it's gonna look seamless. I also wanna mention that this unit does come with transparent lace and it is a really good quality lace. I like how thin it is and the hairline is already pre-plucked and it looks very natural. So right now I'm just gonna to proceed to cut the lace off in the front Well, I started cutting the lace off. And then I realized, oh, it's probably better for me to go ahead and tint the lace. So that's what I did. And I used my Ruby Kiss 3D Face Creator in order to do so. And I'll be sure to link it in the description box. After I complete this process, I'm gonna go back to cutting the lace off. And the next step is to press out the hair so that it looks silky and so that it also doesn't have those really chunky curls that it came with and the crimps that came as a result of the packaging. So I'm just gonna do that now, allow you guys to watch, and then I'll come back on when this process is complete. I'm in love, don't care who knows about it. Can't get enough, no, I can't do without you. Spending all my time thinking about you. At this point, I'm sure you all noticed that I sprayed something on the hair prior to pressing it out, as well as after pressing the hair out, I used that product. That was called the Sebastian Shaper Holding Spray, and I like to spray that on the hair, not only for added sheen, but it also helps to tame any flyaways that you may have, and those shorter hairs, they disappear with that product. So now it's time to install the wig, and you guys are gonna notice, once I put it on, it's already gonna look great before actually even using any adhesive to secure it down. So if you're looking for a really good glueless option, this will be a great option. You could just sew on an elastic band in the back, make sure it's tight and fit it to your head, and you should be good to go. And middle parts are great for wearing a unit glueless. Now I did notice a bit of a hump on the opposing sides of the part. So I did decide to use a curl wand in order to flatten that out. 
And it's only gonna do so much because my braids are not super flat and they're also not really small. So that's gonna be something I can't control too much, but I try to flatten it out as much as I could. So just make sure your braids are smaller or that your hair is really flat under so that you can make sure that your wig install is really flat. But overall, this unit looks so bomb and I feel like once I actually secure it down, it's gonna look amazing. I did decide to prep the unit prior to securing it on my head and I feel like that method works out so much better than actually trying to lay the unit and style it and all that while it's on your head. It's just easier if you do it prior. So that's just what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna proceed to use my bedhead spray in order to secure the unit down to my head. And for those who have not tried the bedhead spray in order to secure your units down, I'd highly recommend it. I really love using this spray because I feel like it's not as messy as gel and it's really quick and easy and it dries so fast. I also wanna mention that this unit is a 13 by four lace front unit, but I'm only gonna apply the adhesive to the front portion as though it's a lace closure, just so that I don't have to put it on my edges. Cause y'all know I'm trying to help y'all out. I'm trying to make sure that our edges are healthy and strong. So if we can avoid gels and any form of adhesive as much as possible, then that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> so good this looks like it could absolutely be my hair when silk pressed of course we have more thickness but that is the goal this turned out so so well and i love that they have the bangs well not really bangs but the hair in the front it frames the face so nicely i love that this hair is not all one length in the front because it looks quite boring and i generally would just cut that anyway and this is how my hair actually looks in the front so I just love it. It looks so, so great. And my favorite part is the movement. It has so much bounce and luster. It just looks amazing. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys what this hair looks like with sort of a flip over method. It's a really good idea to part your hair down the middle first and set it that way and then actually do the flip over look. That creates that sort of hump look, but you'll see that once we get there. But yeah, guys, I hope that you enjoy this tutorial. This unit looks so bomb and I love that it's really affordable and I know you guys are going to love that as well. Be sure to check the description box for all the links and specifications. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Also, subscribe and like this video. I love you guys and I look forward to your comments and feedback. Bye guys. Baby, baby. Baby, baby. You driving me wild. You driving me so crazy. Got me acting out. Got me trying to stay so. Got me trying to stay so. I wanted your love and I'm out here hungover You made me want to take you to London, Paris Times were cherished No comparing to you Keisha, Karen, Meg and Sharon Girl, I swear that it ain't fair It ain't fair that all